So is it just a matter of Evaldi not having any secondary pitches in that first inning? Well, it, it started off as some soft contact, and it looked like it could have been a runner on second and two outs, and Didi kind of fumbled it. And then after that, they hit some balls hard, and he was up. Um, his fastball was fine in the middle, and his split was up, and um, that's a bad combination. You mentioned that little bobble by Didi Gregorius. Not it's, ruled an error, but, but do it's you... a tough play. It's a tough play, but you know I know he's capable of making it. He's going to make it more times than he's not, but. It was just one of those nights. Evaldi still needs to make pitches, but you look back and say, if that's out number two of the inning, things could have been, been different? Could have been different, um, but you're right. He still has to make pitches, and um, he just wasn't able to. With Evaldi, does he need to find a way to, to stop the bleeding in that situation, do a better job of, of, I mean? Well, of course you do. I mean, you want to give up eight runs in the first? Of course you do. I mean, that's your job as a pitcher. you got to find a way, but he wasn't able to do it tonight. Just out. Five and six losses. At a yeah, we haven't we haven't played well. We have not pitched well. Um, we have not swung the bats. Um, you know, hopefully going home will be good medicine for us. I think we get eight games at home, and hopefully that will, you know, solve some of this. Do you sense any uh, nerves, anxiety, anything on all these parts no, pitching here against the whole team? Not really. I, I didn't. Um, you know, it seemed like the you know same warm up, same guys, same personality today. Um, for whatever reason, he didn't have his stuff today though. Um, he threw the ball. He located well. Um, I thought he pitched our left-handers effectively inside with the cutter and, and the comeback fastball. Did he look any different than when he was with your team? No, no. It's the same guy. It's same stuff. Um, but his control was really good tonight, and we've seen that from him. Why do you think it's been such a, a mixed bag for Evaldi? Um, I think it's a young starter, you know, still developing, still developing secondary, still finding out exactly, in, in a sense. You know what type of pitcher he is he knows that you know he's got a great fastball, but he has to use his secondary stuff. And his split has been working really well, and he's thrown well lately. But tonight it just it was up, and uh, it was not effective. So this trend of highs and lows seems to be continuing. I said the seven in a row. Yeah. Now you've lost five of six. I, 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 I would like it to stop. I, I think everyone would. Um, seems to be a trend in baseball, though, for, for a lot of teams this year. I, I I don't know what it says. I don't know if it says that. A lot of clubs are evenly matched, and if things don't go right, you know, because they're so evenly matched, you're going to lose. Um, I mean, the only team that's been extremely consistent is the Cardinals. You look at the way the schedule sets up right now to have an outing like this at, out of a starter, knowing how many games in a row you still have, how difficult is that moving forward? Well, you know, obviously, you know, Cap came in and did it, you know, did a pretty good job, and, and we didn't use the guys at the back end, and um, we'll just have to see where we're at tomorrow.